Lieutenant Governor Mark Robinson, who's running for governor this year, refused to answer questions today about a recent comment he made that, quote, some folks need killing. Well, Democrats accuse him of using violent rhetoric. His campaign says they're trying to smear him. Our Capitol reporter Michael Hyland is live in Durham. Michael, you tried asking the lieutenant governor about it, and he said, while well, pointing his finger, uh, finger rather, that was shameful. Right. His staff told us he only wanted to talk about the event he was having today. But of course, we had other questions and he refused to address those. Following a ceremony at the legislature Wednesday, Lieutenant Governor Mark Robinson declined to respond to the criticism he's facing for a comment he made recently at a church when he said, quote, some folks need killing. His campaign points out he was talking about the enemies of the United States and the Allied powers during World War II. Robinson went on to say that today there are wicked people doing wicked things and the boys in blue need to handle that. But it's unclear who he meant. Democrats say it's an example of violent rhetoric from Robinson. Lieutenant Governor Robinson, can you please clarify what you meant by the comments you made recently about some folks need killing? I just told you that if you had questions about what happened in there today, he would answer them. This day is about That's all you Moses got out ceremony. It's not That's about, all you got about out. politics. You want to come out here and you want to smirch this lady's award by coming out here and asking me that silly question. That's what you got out of this. There's your answer. Shame. That's what it is. Pure shame. I talked to Democratic Attorney General Josh Stein as he toured Durham Tech Wednesday. Promoting political violence is absolutely unacceptable. The way our democracy works is for people to have free exchange of ideas and do so knowing that they will be safe. I also asked Stein about the debate in his party, whether President Biden should stay in the race. You still want him to be your party's nominee this year? The decision is entirely up to the president. He has all the delegates and he has indicated that he's running for election. And there's no question that I think that our future as a country is better with him as the president rather than his opponent. I am running for governor. We are applying for different jobs. I also asked Stein if he has any concerns about the president's capacity to serve, and he said only President Biden can make that decision, and Stein said he is staying focused on the governor's race. Live in Durham, Michael Hyland, CBS 17 News. All right, Michael, thank you.